All right. Hey, today what I want to do is talk to you about how long did it take for my small channel to reach the YouTube monetization requirements. So my guess is if you're watching this video, you're attempting to get there yourself, or maybe you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel and wondering how difficult it is. Uh, I will say it varies from channel to channel uh, because every channel has uh, different topics. So, you know, the, the traffic that you get and, and the people that come to your channel are entirely different based on the niche that you're in. Uh, so this is just my example of what it took for me to get there. And uh, you can use that as information to inform you as you move forward with your uh, YouTube channel journey. So just to baseline, everybody probably knows this already, but you need 4,000 public watch hours and you need 1,000 subscribers to get accepted into the YouTube monetization program to show ads and run ads on your videos. So what I want to do is show you my channel briefly. And uh, my particular channel is one that is geared toward content creators and it deals with tech and tutorials in that particular area. And that's been my focus so far. Although I will say I branded it with my uh, name and the reason I did that is I wanted to leave myself the capability to expand beyond uh, what I'm talking about now. Uh, I mean, I'll always stay in the, in the tech field, but I, I want to be able to talk about more than just blogging in the future if I need to, you know, make a slight turn one way or another. So that's really one thing to keep in mind if you haven't started your channel yet is to uh, leave yourself some leeway so you have the capability to talk uh, about a variety of things beyond the niche that you're, um, you know, approaching at this point. Let's, let's just talk about a few things um, that, that have happened during my journey to monetization. So... I'm going to let you know right now, this is not a video where I'm going to show you how much money I'm making after one month because I've been monetized exactly 24 hours. That's it. So this is more about how I got there and uh, the process around that. So, you know, if I were to describe the journey to monetization, it's definitely a grind. It takes time. You know, if you have a channel that's gone viral and you've got your thousand subscribers in a couple of months, more power to you. Um, I only have a YouTube channel. I do not have a supporting website yet. That's in the plans, but I don't have one yet. I don't have Instagram or TikTok or a Facebook page. So all of my traffic is people discovering me through YouTube search and through the other ways that YouTube presents videos to people when they come to the platform. So the one thing that I'll say right now is try not to get too hung up on, uh, on gear because you just don't need an expensive camera to do this necessarily. Uh, right now, I'm just using an iPhone SE to record this. Uh, so for the, the niche that I have, it works fine. I'm not saying that you can use an iPhone for every niche, but I think to get started, um, you know, a good smartphone camera is fine. The one thing I will say is you definitely want to get a decent microphone. Uh, my microphone that I'm using now is the biggest investment that I've made so far. Uh, so you need to spend a little money to make money. And I'll explain a little bit more about that. Um, just depends on the niche that you're in and what you're presenting. Uh, I happen to be in the realm of software. So for me to talk about software, I can't do that unless I'm using software. So it's required me to, you know, purchase some software subscriptions, some lifetime software deals, because I want to be able to speak with authority about these different topics when I'm presenting stuff to my subscribers. So, you know, some of this can be time consuming. I think the biggest uh, time suck for me is the video editing. It's probably the area that I'm the least experienced in. 
The other thing that can take some time is even coming up with relevant topics that you think people want to watch watch a video about. Um, one thing I can say is if you're a perfectionist, YouTube's going to be pretty humbling, especially when you start watching your first few videos. You're going to be like, oh, should I even post this? But if you've put together a video and you're sharing something that could be useful to one person, go ahead and post it. You need to do this. You need to get that experience. Uh, the other thing I found is during this time, as I've led up to monetization, there's been a couple points where I felt like, man, I just don't want to do this anymore. Um, because it, it, sometimes you'll do a video and you just don't get very many people looking at it and you've spent a lot of time on it and you really thought it was going to be something that was going to click with people. So the run reason you don't want to quit is you're going to meet some really nice people. Um, you know, I deal with comments on my videos and, uh, I really enjoy interacting with people and trying to help, help folks out when they're trying to learn some new skill. So um, that part has been great. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, I just want to thank you for subscribing and, and uh, watching my videos. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. So one thing that I've stopped doing is I've stopped thinking about trying to go viral. So I, I just have this goal that I'm concentrating on helping people. So if I create a video and I can help one or two people, that's good enough. Um, be yourself. Uh, I am not a rapid fire speaker. Just be yourself, be natural. I think people appreciate that. And truthfully, I've had people come to me in, in comments and just say, you know what, it's nice that you present things in a way where I can actually keep up and figure out what it is you're doing without watching the video over 10 times. So um, sometimes you find your niche that way. So just find your own voice and then just be yourself. So here are some key takeaways before we start looking at some analytics. So hang in there. Uh, here's the first thing. Uh, start now. So if you don't have your channel up and running, you're thinking about it, start now. I wish I would have started this five years ago. I mean, I really do. It was a mistake not to get into YouTube earlier. Um, learn from the experts. Now, I really appreciate the information that I get from the Think Media channel. I've learned a lot from them, um, and that's helped me apply some of their tactics to things that I do and the way that I present information uh, and some of the other strategies that they have for new YouTubers. So that's a really good place to go. But there are many, uh, many, many good channels for beginning YouTubers out there. That's one I like. Um, when you're picking a channel name, I, I mentioned this a little earlier, don't pick a channel name that's going to restrict what you talk about. Just make sure you pick a name that's not going to... Uh, trap you into talking about only one or two topics in case you want to branch out. Uh, the one thing I would say is don't spend a ton of time looking for like really, really cheap or free software to edit your video. Spend a little money on a decent video editing package. You're going to spend a lot of time in it. I bought a package called ScreenFlow for, for Mac. It works great. Uh, if you don't have a Mac, uh, Camtasia is another good video editing software. If you're doing things where you're showing stuff with your screen, obviously there's Premiere Pro and others out there too. But the reason you want to get a decent video editing package is you want to be able to go onto YouTube and find tutorials so you can learn how to use that software. So if you're buying something that not a lot of people use, chances are there won't be a lot of videos out there uh, to give you help in how to use that software. So when you're doing your videos, if you make a mistake in one, you know, don't be afraid in your next video to say, hey, if you watched my video on X, you know, I made a mistake and correct yourself. So be authentic and just admit your mistakes. Um, don't wait for YouTube, uh, wait for YouTube monetization 
before you start making money, really explore affiliate sales because uh, almost from day one that I started doing these videos, as soon as I uh, started doing videos on uh, any kind of um, item that had an affiliate had an affiliate program, and it was an item that I believed in. So it was a product that I was promoting because I used the service or I used the product and I liked it. Uh, I would join the affiliate program. So I've been making money from my channel um, maybe after the first month or two, I started making money. And it's maybe averaged anywhere from $150 to $200 a month. And so uh, for a small channel, that's great. So I just want to say that 99.9% .9 of my interactions with people on my channel have been great. Uh, so that's really been a fun part of it is just, you know, helping people out along the way, uh, reading their comments and answering their questions. And sometimes it can get time consuming, but um, it, it's just good to know that, hey, people watched my video and I've helped them out. So I will say it was much easier to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark than it was the 4,000 watch hour mark. So like I said, I've only been monetized for about 24 hours, and that was the grind, was getting to the 4,000 hours. So here's my path to, mon to YouTube monetization. So this is what you wanted to know. How long did it take? Well, it took me eight months. It took me 50 long form videos. So I tried the whole route with shorts. People were really touting shorts as a way to build your subscriber base quickly. I will just tell you my shorts were sort of a bust. Uh, probably didn't do them the right way. Uh, but truthfully, you need those 4,000 public watch hours. And the 4,000 public watch hours you're getting from long-form videos count differently than YouTube Shorts. Your YouTube Shorts hours do not count toward the 4,000 public watch hours, right? So um, I would concentrate on your long-form videos. So currently, you know, I release one to two videos a week. My concern is to do something that's quality uh, and that is useful for people. And I found when I started release, trying to release, you know, more than two videos a week, the, the quality was suffering. And so I wanted to make sure uh, I was doing things the right way. Um, so right now, you know, my videos average about 1,300 views uh, on average over these, these 50 videos. As you can see in the analytics here, I've got Oh, lifetime 65,000 uh, views. Uh, this says 4.4 watch time hours. Um, you know, like I said, just 24 hours ago, I reached the 4,000 hour mark. So I'm not sure why there's a discrepancy between what I see in my analytics and when YouTube decided to turn on my monetization. The only thing I can think of is I did have one video where I shared a tutorial and it worked. It worked fine. <laughs> and then there was a change to some AI software and all of a sudden it didn't work. And I was, you know, having people comment, hey, this doesn't work anymore. And I felt bad about it. So rather than leave a video that was, in fact, one of my uh, highest viewed videos, I took it down and I deleted it. And I probably should have just switched it to private instead of, switch, instead of deleting it, because I believe when I deleted it, all the watch hours that I was credited for that video went away, the public watch hours. So I think that's why I have a discrepancy. And I have <clears throat> just about 1,500 subscribers at this point. Uh, my views per day, you know, average anywhere from, you know, uh, you know, 20 an hour or so. So 601 views for the last 48 hours. Now, I haven't released a video for uh, about six days, five or six days. So typically what happens, I'll release a video. Uh, it'll get a lot of traffic for two or three days and then slowly start to level out. Um, and... I, I do know that just from the standpoint of growth, 
you know, I could grow this channel exponentially if I did three or four videos a week. I just don't have the time to shoot them and, and you know, do all the editing and everything else that goes along with that. This was my path to monetization. How much I'm going to make that first month, I don't know, because I'm going to be releasing some videos uh, throughout the month. Uh, it's not that big a deal. Um, again, uh, I think affiliate sales are your friend as well. So I wouldn't wait just for YouTube monetization. I definitely uh, dig into trying to figure out if affiliate sales would work for you and your channel. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, and feel free to like and subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you do any kind of any kind of work with AI software or content creation, uh, subscribe to my channel and you may find some information here that will be helpful for you. So thanks for watching and to all my current subscribers, I really appreciate the support for the channel. Until next time, take care.